Hello and welcome to the Underground. Today I'm going to show you how to save and load a configuration in a CEM3 power control module. To start off with, you'll need a CEM3 and a USB thumb key. So let's begin. Press the setup key and let's arrow on down to file operations. Press enter. And then you've got your basic options here. Save to USB, load from USB, upgrade and set up server. The last two options I'll demonstrate and show in a different video. So let's go ahead and select save to USB. And here it will give you a file name. This is based off of your uh, configuration that was originally done via concert with your turn on technician. So let's go ahead and put in our thumb key. Press OK. And it's going to start saving. So this is a good thing to have. So in case you're in a touring house or in a school or someplace where people need to change filing loads on your dimmers or change setup options beyond like start address and those things, you can always restore back to a clean slate. This is also good if you have a technician, let's say from ETC or one of our dealers that's requesting a file to make some edits to it. So you, it, let's say you're putting in new modules and need to change firing modes, they can take care of that for you. So give it another few seconds here and it should be done. It takes between 20 to 30 again. And yeah, here we go. It goes back to your main menu here or uh, your file operations menu, so you see save load. If you're normally just doing a save, all you have to do is hit the back button to your, your home screen, but as we're loading, let's go ahead and press down, press enter here, and here it'll give you the options. If you had multiple files, let's say if you have a multi-rack system and your USB had all those different files, you select the rack that you want. So we only have 01. We're gonna go ahead and press enter here. And this is gonna take a shorter amount of time than it did to save, but at this point, it's just loading up and kind of putting everything in place. So uh, again, if people are making changes to your rack, uh, this is always a good way of restoring to a known working good configuration. And once you're done, you're gonna go back to the file operations menu. All you have to do after that is go ahead and hit the back key until you're back to your home screen. You can go ahead and pull out the thumb key at that point and you're good to go. Thank you for watching.